Here's your new desk, kid. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted here, next to the map. What's his problem? That's Biggs. He's an institution. So this is what all the fuss is about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner, Stefan Burkowski. I've heard all about you, Phelps. You go easy on me and let me earn the odd citation, and maybe we'll get along fine. I'm here to learn, detective. Oh, he's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? <laughs> intense. The newly minted detective here, Cole Phelps. Hi, Phelps. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory. Make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. Who was that, Commander? Roy Earl, chief detective and advice. Do they all dress like movie stars? Well, Roy is a movie star. And the whole of the seedy side of L.A. is his audience. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Stick with me, kid. You'll find out. Now some housekeeping. Warm Central Division welcome for Detective Cole Phelps. Some of you guys may know Phelps. He's the cop who broke the jewelry store murder. Stand up and take a bow, Phelps. If it's all right with you, That's sir. Order, Phelps. Ooh. Shh, shh, quiet, everybody. <laughs> Phelps is one of only two serving LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. Really gave it to those lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? Uh, I did my best, Captain. Why you war heroes always so modest? I've partnered Phelps with everybody's favorite pole, Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. Well, that's why we have partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, can it, guys. Stick with Bukowski. He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside now. I'm gonna start you out with one case. You do okay, I'll give you a couple more. You screw up. You'll be rousting vagrants and running license plates. Now get down to the P.E. Freight Depot, 6th and Alameda. A patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find out. Come on, Phelps. All right, welcome back to L.A. Noir. We're going to be rocking through this. What I've actually got planned is I'm going to do <coughs> um, four videos today. I'm going to do two videos of Alien Noir, and then I'm going to record two videos of Skyrim, just so that kind of sets out the week. Um, and yeah, I always lose my train of thought when someone speaks in this game, it's annoying. But yeah, that's what I've got planned, so I'll record two Alien Noir videos and two Skyrim videos, just so it kind of, like I said, sets out the week. So we're going down to the Freight Depot. You're, I'm going to change my suit, actually. So we've got. So the sort of justice. Why not? Hey, uh, you can drive. You can drive. You know this place? Sure. Near the old gas works and signal depot in the warehouse district. I'll direct. So, tell me a little about yourself, Phelps. Are we friends now, Bukowski? We have to work together. Don't be so touchy. I grew up in San Francisco. My father was in shipping. I went to college at Stanford, did two years ROTC before Marine OCS at Camp Elliott. Shipped out in early 45 as a first lieutenant, fought in the Okinawa campaign. I was wounded, shipped back home, did a year on the beat, now I'm here. So you won the Silver Star. I don't want to talk about it. Now let me get this straight. You single-handedly killed 40 Japs on this hill in Okinawa. No. You were up there all night, draped in the flag, knife between your teeth, gun at the ready. You finished? The Emperor Hirohito himself leading the charge against you. I did my part, Bukowski. What did you do? I kept the streets of L.A. safe for the people. Yeah. Now I get it. Unfit for service. Oh, fuck you, Phelps. I earned a bravery citation during the Zuda riots. Sounds like you had it rough. I did my job. No one is saying you didn't. I did six years as a patrolman. That's the third time you've told me. <clears throat> so it's a vehicle with signs of foul play. We're checking out. 
That you, Bukowski? Go on through. Parking lot straight ahead. I need to get back to work, officer. The detectives are here now. You repeat to them what you told me. I did the right thing by calling this in. I'm just a working stick. Just give them your story and you'll be all right. This is your first case, Phelps. It's okay to admit it if you're stumped. If you don't know what to do next, just come talk to me and we'll see what we can figure out. Thanks, Stefan. You're okay. What a nice guy. Right, so first suitcase that we've got. First suitcase, that sounds stupid. First case in the suit that we've got. First suitcase. I'm Officer Hart. Phelps, traffic. What have you got? Abandoned car, probably stolen. The solid citizen is Nate Wilkie. He called it in. What gives with the corner? There's blood all over the interior. Someone's copped the full Broderick, but no stiff as yet. We have an owner for the car? The car is registered to an Adrian Black, just north of Bunker Hill. All right, we'll take a look around. I'll keep Mr. Wilkie talking, but don't make him wait too long. He's the restless type. Is it just me, or did that guy's voice sound really weird? <clears throat> like, it didn't sound like he was outside. I know, obviously, it wasn't when he was doing the, the video, but... Oh, shit. Doc? Detective? Phelps? What have we got? A lot of blood for a blood force injury. The victim must be in a very bad way. Any sign of the guy? Not unless he's in the trunk of the car. Oh shit. I'm not going to bullshit, but when we were talking to that police officer, it looked like the interior was actually red. Not blood. That obviously isn't the murder weapon. It's clean. Mr. F. Morgan picked up a live pig yesterday? A random order. Hmm. Nah, that's nothing. I think this is any use to us. <coughs> oh my god. No, fuck. I meant to press B. Um, I won't record this video as long as the last one because that took me almost 10 hours to render. Yeah. The victim looks to have lost a lot of blood. That is... Mm. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Glasses and a wallet. Asian 32 black. years old, married, sounds like an average guy. <coughs> what was he doing out here? Is that his wife? Happier times, I guess. So he doesn't have anything standing out in the case, so there doesn't doesn't really seem to be anything for it. You see that he's got the he's got the tape between the lenses. Obviously done a bit of DIY work. Stenzel glasses. Home repaired by the look. what they used. Brand name might give us something to go on. Okay. Right, we're finished. Let's go and talk to the guy. Sir, I'm Detective Phelps. Name's Nate Wilkie. You found the vehicle? Sure. I saw it just sitting there. Strange place to be parking your car. Figured I'd better take a look. And then I saw all the blood. 
So I call the police. What was your purpose at the scene? Mind if I ask what you were doing out here? Well, I work for the railway. I was on my way out to the switch and reckon I'd take a shortcut. That's, that's solid. Did you see anybody else in the yard? Maybe somebody hanging around the car? Nope. I hadn't seen a soul all day till you boys turned up. Does he know Adrian Black? Do you know Adrian Black, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. Okay. He's telling the truth. Funny enough, I did. A couple of nights ago, it was over there in the parking lot. I know most of the cars are parked here regularly, so it kind of stood out. Contains a wallet. The wallet by the <coughs> car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister? Oh, I know. Well, we can't prove him wrong, but there's no way he's telling the truth. Do you want the patrolman to hold you down while we turn out your pockets, Mr. Wilkie? Maybe I checked inside that wallet. Not that I was going to steal anything. Maybe I took a look. But there weren't no money in there. Not even change. Bloodstained pipe found. We found a steel pipe with blood on it near the car. Do you know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. And he's been pretty solid with that as well. When you saw the blood, was it wet, bright red, or uh, darker like it is now? Darker, I'd say. Looked dry already. Thank you for your help, Mr. Wilkie. We'll contact your employer if we need anything more from you. If you have to, I guess. I can't really spend no more time over this. Somebody's got to inform the wife, right. folks. If you're done here, we'll head over there now. So we're going to talk to the wife now. You're driving. Can you drive to this one? Right. All right. Where to? To the black residence. Let's go introduce ourselves. You talk to her, Phelps. I'm no good at this shoulder to cry on stuff. Just a minute. LAPD, Mrs. Black. May we come in? We have some bad news and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. Oh, we can discuss this in the living room. Please come in. I'm curious, how are we actually going to break this to her? Because there's no proof that it's actually her husband. Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black? That's correct. I suppose if it's his car, yeah. found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband may be injured. We found a pipe on the scene with blood on it. Oh! My poor Adrian. Does the name Insta Heat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. We've just had a new water heater installed. Whereabouts, Mrs. Black? Just outside the kitchen window, at the side of the house. I'd like you to try and stay calm and remember everything that you can about last night. My partner and I are going to take a look around. When you're ready, we're going to have some more questions for you. Is that OK? Of course, officer anything to help secure my husband's safety. That? Well, let's check mm. the place out. Come on. That seems pretty... That kind of stands out, doesn't it? 
it was at his house. And that's not going to mean anything. It's all just little souvenirs that we're finding. Yeah, but that seems really weird that it, it was in, it was right next to his house that the pipe came from. Have a good look around. There's got to be something in here. Got much in this room. He was leaving somewhere. A used ticket to Seattle and a suitcase gone missing. Someone couldn't wait to get out of this house. Hmm. Let's see the picture first. Separate bedrooms, separate pictures. What gives here? Invest investigate further. Looks like I'm lonely without you. Hurry Hi, back. Adrian. Nicole. This thing gets more and more interesting. Ah, right, okay. I think I get it now. Doesn't take a, a detective to work that out. This must be Adrian's. Stay in the same brand, yeah. Stenzel. So the glasses are a match. Yep. That may, yeah, that makes sense. I don't know if I should say it just now, what I'm thinking, or if I should wait until it actually closes the case, because I know if I wait until it closes the case, and I say it, that it's the same thing that I'm thinking, then no one would believe me. Who brought this home? If I say it now, then I might spoil the, the rest of the case. Maybe Adrian was a patron. Aren't I should have an address. Fuck, I'll just say it now. I'm thinking, right, ordered a live pig. He wanted out of this place to go and see that Nicole. So then he gets a train ticket. Gets a live hog, beats the hog in his car to make it look like he's been injured, and takes off. That's what I'm thinking. It just seems weird for it not to be that, you know. Unless the killer like stayed with him or something. That's what I think anyway. That might not be it, that might be it. This was only recently installed, not two days ago. Maybe it's time we took a look around outside. Yeah, let's go outside. In fact, we'll just check if there's anything here. And um, all just minor stuff. Right, let's check outside. Oh, wait, actually, wait, 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 wait. I see that gold handle. Oh, that's not going to mean anything. Oh, well, that was... Right, let's check out this... Heater. Um, what's, what, where was the kitchen? was here, right? Leaving the thing half finished. Because we're about to build it. Man. Oh shit, I've never seen that right. Right. <laughs> Middle one. That one goes there. And this one goes up here, up top. Missing, and that's the, so the yeah. pipe missing from Mr. Black's here is the same one that killed him. Huh, seems like the assailant is a little closer to home. Mm. 
That can't just be a coincidence. Hey, let's go and talk to her. In fact, we're not even... Nah, surely there's nothing else we can use. I don't know, maybe there is something else we can use. Whatever, we'll just go and talk to her. There doesn't seem like anything else we can go on, because, I mean... I'm alright now. We could... Oops. Right, let's find this out. Slaughterhouse receipt. We found a receipt in the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. This receipt was made out to an F. Morgan. A pig? Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. God knows what he's up to. Seems so odd. What Seems so odd. Say that about Morgan, he's the foreman at my husband's plant. A very shady character. I've told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. They're always out drinking together. So that's how they go to the bar together. Tell us about the photo of Adrian in the bedroom. What is there to tell? It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. That seems... There's plenty to tell. You just won't tell it. You're lying about the photograph, Mrs. Black. You're incredibly rude and insensitive. But I guess you know that. It must... Yeah, must surely. I told you what I know about the picture. Yeah. There's a message on it, though. What about Nicole, Mrs. Black? Was your husband going to leave you for her? I've seen the photo frame. <laughs> he thinks I'm stupid. But women sense these things. I don't know if he intended to leave me or if it was just a fling. God only knows. I only want to know that he's safe. Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. So nothing out of the usual then? Well, he came home early from work. He never comes home early. And he went out early, too. He normally never leaves for the bar till about seven. Hmm. Was your husband wearing his glasses when he left here yesterday? Yes, he just bought a new pair. Ah, ah, mm. I don't know, she's probably telling the truth, but he wasn't wearing the new pair. So you disposed of the new pair after you killed your husband? I just pressed the wrong thing, didn't I? Leaving the old pair behind. Shit. Dead. Shit. How can you be so heartless? Uh, throwing around accusations at a time like this. Okay, fair enough about that one wrong. I'll tell you that. Your husband frequents Kavanaugh's bar? How did you know that? Adrian practically lives there after work. Uh, fuck. I fucked that up. So Adrian spends a lot of time there? Up until recently. He's been away in Seattle a lot on business. I think you should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Can you account for your movements last night? You're not accusing me, are you? Oh, what an awful thing to say. I was here all night, of course, waiting for Adrian to come home. Okay, okay, I'll believe you. Is there anyone who can vouch for that? Well, no. I, I was here alone. I cooked Adrian's dinner and waited, but he never came home. We'll keep you informed, Mrs. Black. Private sex. Please do, detective. Right, so... 
Let's make a phone call. Find out where the bar is. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How could I help, Detective? I need an address on a Kavanaugh's bar. Certainly, Detective. One moment. Kavanaugh's bar, corner of Aliso and Hewitt, south side of Union Station. Thanks. Okay. Let's go see the bar then. Oh, I just walked into the door. Right. He's driving. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. And where exactly are we going? Jesus, I'm glad to be out of there. Mr. and Mrs. Black don't seem to have the happiest home life. He's too scared to divorce her, and she's too much of a shrinking violet to throw him out. If this hadn't happened, they could have stayed miserable together forever. You think she could have killed him? She sure as hell doesn't seem to type. But stranger things have happened. He's still alive, I think. Away with that Nicole person. No, you don't. That Chevy Pilot. We were at school together. Uh, how about you buy me a drink for, for old time's sake? <laughs> you looking for someone? You know Frank Morgan? Sure. Frank's your regular. <coughs> He's a loner in the back. He's a loner in the back. Can't decide between the tuna fish and the chicken. Frank Morgan? Who's asking? Cole Phelps, LAPD. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Yeah, I know him. Are you aware that he's missing? No, I hadn't heard that. Tough break. Linked to abandoned vehicle. We found Black's car abandoned in a freight depot, covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? Hell no, uh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian, he, he's a good oh, boss. Please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk off, Phelps. Get this dude's face. You're lying, Morgan. Talking that you bullshit. There. And you're talking out your ass, detective. How about you prove I was out at that rail yard? You were there, Morgan. We found a receipt in the trunk of the car. It has your name on it. We can call the slaughter yard and nail you on it. All right, already. That fool Adrian's fallen for some dame in Seattle. He wanted me to make it look like he'd been attacked. That's it. That's it. So where does he know? Where exactly is Black holed up? No idea. I think he took off for Seattle. And... Fuck. How was he getting there? I don't know. Maybe a Greyhound? You guys ought to go try the terminal on Sunset. Damn it. So Adrian isn't hurt? What's with all the blood? I don't know. It was dark. He must have caught a nick on something. Yeah. You're lying, Morgan. You no, killed Black take. and hid the body. Where is it? Me? Hey, all I did was help the fool. You're gonna need a lot more than that to prove that I hurt him. I can't. Fuck. I've had about enough of you. Two. Oh. <laughs> another table. Okay. Damn it. Add up, Morgan. Your excuses don't help. Let's see how you enjoy the LAPD taking an interest in your life. You want my opinion? You tell Morgan. I say he's lying, and whatever hole he's got Adrian stashed in, he's got to go back there sometime. A 
I fucked that up. I fucked that up. that story better now. talking I was I was really focused there man I really messed that up I messed up that investigation Taking us, Mr. Morgan. Goddamn too close, pal. <laughs> Way <laughs> too close. Fucking oh, hell. Don't make me do that all over again. Morgan. I say he's lying and whatever hole he's got Adrian stacked.